Hey what's up guys this is Sandeep Sky and in this video I'm going to show you how to install apk files on windows 11 so without wasting any more time let's get started do your windows search and search for turn windows features on and off so in the list find the option which says virtual machine platform check that option and click on ok now it will start applying the changes and once it is done you need to restart your computer to make the changes now after restarting please make sure that cpu virtualization is enabled on your system you can check that by going into your task manager or from your by setting so if you haven't already then please enable by following the guide for your system now you need to download one file from the link in the description box below and once it is downloaded double click on it to open it and click on install now it will take a while to install WSA and once it is installed it is, will automatically open and if it doesn't then go into your start menu and open it manually and once it is opened go into your advanced settings and enable the developer options now once you have done that open your windows store and then go into your updates and library and make sure that uh, WSA is up to date and there are no more updates for it. Now after that open your windows store and search for WSA tools install apk click on get and it will take a while to install it and once it is installed open the WSA tools now click on install apk and first it will ask us to install adb just click on install adb and it will ask us to choose where to install adb i'm going to my local disk c and create a new folder named adb and i'm going to install adb tools there you can install anywhere you want and after that close apk tools go into your web browser and download any apk file for this video i'm going to download facebook messenger apk Now once your file is downloaded you need to open WSA tools again and click on install apk. Now locate the apk file which you just downloaded. Click on it and select install apk. Now it will warn us and you need to click install anyway. Now it will ask us to enable adb debugging just click on allow and click on install. Now it will take a while to install the apk. So the APK is installed. Now I'm going to open the installed app. As you can see, the messenger is working perfectly as it would in our Android device. You can also resize it and use it like a desktop app. So that's it for the video guys. You can also install any other APK. But don't try to install any games because it may not work. So that's it for the video. Thank you for watching.